welcome back to the channel guys it is me 80 summer for four today guys we're doing our match day i mean day five review of the asian cup guys so remember guys later today guys um all the match day one games i've completed we we'll need to stream around two hours time so like i said guys please remember to subscribe and get notified and of course like the, like this video if you did enjoy so we're gonna start with the first game we got here is thailand to kyrgyzstan nil thailand man they showed up man i was very worried for them coming into this tournament the preparation was terrible i wasn't really impressed and there were just a lot of issues going on. Like, and then not to mention the fact they got destroyed. They were terrible in the friendlies leading up to this. And Kyrgyzstan, in my opinion, is a nation that is alright. They're decent, nothing too special. And it's a very old team, I think. And for Thailand, man, they were great on the day. They were great on the day, and I think they deserved this win. Kyrgyzstan, in my opinion, just didn't do enough for me in this game. They weren't as bad as the score may have suggested, but you could tell that Thailand was so the superior team. I mean, look at the statistics right here, man. 12 shots, 4 runs are 8 big chances. Kyrgyzstan only had 3 shots, 1 big chance, and 1 big chance missed. And yeah, that first goal, man, what a goal that is from Jadid. Great, great goal there. I'm questioning the keeper there. Toktov should have done way better there, allowing him to get the rebound. Not very good goalkeeping there. And then the second goal, man, that was a great, great um, goal there in the, in the second half. And yeah, man, um, for Thailand, man, Kyrgyzstan, man, just didn't have enough quality. They tried to make substitutions, but it wasn't the difference. And for Thailand, man, this is a huge, huge win because now, basically, I think Kyrgyzstan is in a really bad position because Kyrgyzstan have to play Bahrain. So, no, not Bahrain, sorry. They have to play, um, what is it called? Oman. And we know how difficult Oman is. I'll get to Oman game in a bit. And then Kyrgyzstan have to play Saudi. So, Kyrgyzstan, for me, this is not good for them. As for Thailand, this is a great result for them because now... It basically comes down to that Oman game. Because let's be real, Saudi will probably be able to beat them. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to get who gets the second place. And shout out to Jadid, man. Shout out to Jadid. Jadid, man of the match, was fantastic on the day. He was um, amazing, man. And uh, he's only 25 years old. <clears throat> and he was just great on the day. As for Kyrgyzstan, in my opinion, not very good for them. And like I said, man, this is the first time we got to see a pot 4 team win in the Asian, Asian Cup, which is absolutely phenomenal. Moving on to the other game we got here. <clears throat> the other game in this group. This game was crazy, guys. Saudi Arabia 2, Oman 1. And I want to say this right now with uh, Oman, man. Wow. I feel so bad for Oman. I feel devastated. If I'm an Oman fan, I'm thinking to myself, oh my god. We lost this game. Because I think Oman fans would have taken a draw. I think a draw would have been a good result for them. They lost this game, man. They lost this game. And for me, that first half, man, Saudi was shocking. The first half, Saudi were terrible. And they were not great whatsoever. And even though Saudi had more possession and everything, they had more shots, you could see the Oman were more dangerous the first half. They had one shot, one on target, which was, of course, a penalty, one big chance. And <clears throat> my thing with Oman is that they're very compact. They're very defensively solid. They hit you on the counterattack, and they're just very well drilled. And this is why I say Oman, for me, is my dark horse in the Asian Cup, because I really feel like they can frustrate teams, and I think they can do this. And um, that penalty, man. For me, it was a bit of a soft penalty. I don't know if I 100% agree. It, it kind of looked like a dive to me in some ways. Um, but, you know, it is a penalty at the end of the day. And, of course, Al Yayi stepped up from the stepped up and scored the penalty. Once it left, there was no way the keeper were to say Kasser. And, and for that first half, man, Saudi just didn't look great. Al Dasari, one of the Saudi's best players, just looked completely out of it. Just didn't look great. And it was just terrible. The second half, though, Saudi Arabia did push things up. They did up things up a bit. And you can see the second half, how dominant they were. Oman, on the other hand, were not great in the second half. And you can see how Saudi raised their level. And I think the substitutions was very key on the day. And you have to give credit to Mancini for making those substitutions. Because he made that brilliant substitution of bringing Garib off the bench. And who scored a wonderful equalizer. What a goal that was. What a wonderful equalizer that was. And in the second goal, man, that second goal was for controversial. Obviously, it was scored by Al Bali from the set piece from the corner, and it was it was really weird at the time because I was watching the game and the referee said no because there was a huge lengthy VAR check and the referee said no goal, and then he said goal stood because I was so confused like what was going on did the goal count or not count and it, and and obviously it ultimately did count it and yeah just uh, shout out to Al Bali scoring the late winner there he did the Inkunku celebration the balloon celebration I think I put it on the thumbnail and yeah for um. For Saudi Arabia, man, I mean, I'm even though they won this game, I am very much unconvinced with this team because this Saudi team for me, I'm not convinced whatsoever. This Saudi team, they're gonna have to do a lot better in the knock at the other games because for me, 
I feel like they were extremely fortunate on the day. I feel like they were fortunate because that VAR decision was very, very close. For me, it was the right decision. I think it was the right decision if you look at this thing. And I did say that it looked onside to me. Um, but like I said, they're not going to have this kind of luck in their next couple of games. So they need to improve upon this because Saudi Arabia, man, if they, kinda do, if they do this kind of performance just scraping through wins against these kind of teams, they're not going to do well in this tournament. Because obviously Saudi's main objective should be to get to the um, quarterfinals. Because remember, they haven't been the quarterfinals of the Asian Cup in some time, I think. I think the last edition, they got on the round of 16. So they need to at least get the quarterfinals, in my opinion, to be considered a decent tournament. Because anything below quarterfinal appearance is, is a failure, in my opinion. It's a failure. So for Saudi Arabia, man, shout out to them, man. They got the job done. Uh, Legenemy got the assist. I think they got the assist. For, was it for the? I think it was for the game-winning goal, right? No, no, no. It wasn't for the game-winning goal. It was the equalizer. The equalizer got the assist there. So, yeah, man. Aldasari, man, not ineffective whatsoever. And you can see the Saudi team is very different. This isn't the same Saudi team we saw at the World Cup. A lot of the players are not there anymore. And that's very, very interesting. So, Mancini, man, very interesting. Um, and a lot of players are playing there that I didn't recognize. Like, I think Hassar wasn't there at the World Cup. I think al Awasis was there. al Faraj was there, I think, at the World Cup. These guys aren't even there anymore. So, it's going to be really interesting to see how Saudi Arabia does at the Asian Cup in particular. So, that's it for group. Um, that's it for the games for today. So, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this analysis. I'll be dropping my predictions videos, guys, after the stream today. So, sometime tonight, expect a prediction video. And, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy, guys. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And please let me know if there's any major talking points I missed in the comments below. I'll be reading you guys' comments and, of course, replying to the ones that I, I think is really interesting. So, remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Check out me, uh, the, check out me and my other platforms in the description below. And remember, guys, to join the stream later today, guys, in around two hours. I'll see you guys then, man. Peace. Out.